Hello, nation. Steve Edelman, Jeremy Pettis, Hello. the diabetic uh, type 1 bros. We're here to talk about artificial pancreas and looping today. Look, we're all waiting for a time when we can put on our true artificial pancreas, eat anything you want, this whole jar of peanut butter, our favorite when we get low, mixed with Hershey's chocolate, mm, and you don't have to worry about a thing. Your blood sugars just stay even Steven. And that's not here yet, but it's coming fast. Medtronic, Kudos to them for coming out with a 670G called the hybrid closed loop, underscore hybrid. It's not really a true artificial pancreas, but there are a lot of people that are involved with type 1, their kids have type 1, and they don't want to wait. And they're starting to develop their own closed loop systems. And it's totally off label, uh, and it's called looping. And my good friend Jeremy is looping, and he's going to tell us the basics. Yeah, so I've been looping for. I don't know, almost six months now, and I really do like it. So uh, I'll describe a little bit about what it is and then how to get started if you wanted to do it. Like Steve said, disclaimer, it's not FDA approved. These are kind of completely in your garage type hacking situations to get on your own hybrid closed loop. So what it is, is it's a system that uses an old Medtronic pump and it turns it into a hybrid closed loop, which means it can change your basal rates throughout the day. You still have to you know, enter your carbs and do your correction boluses on that. But when it modifies the basal rate, it makes your overnight control just almost perfect. Um, it really gets rid of those highs, you know, your alarms, your CGM going off in the middle of the night. And I have essentially zero hypoglycemia at night, which has been amazing. It, it's, it helps you when you're not eating. When you say changing the, the basal rate, you know, I'm thinking of like 0.6 for six hours and then 0.7 for two hours. This is different, right? It's a little micro bolusing. Well, it, it actually, what it does is it, it tells the, the pump um, a new temporary basal rate. And you can tell it how high you want that, that, that adjustment to be. So it, sometimes it might crank it up to eight units an hour if it's really trying to you know, catch up with your high blood sugars. Seriously? Or it might drop it to zero. Yeah, it can make that, that drastic of changes, um, which is pretty impressive. So I'd say I sleep better, which I really can't say that enough. Sleeping better is huge. Um, and I sleep better because I'm not getting low and high at, at night. He's not so cranky. I know. Yeah, I'm, I really I'm even more, <laughs> more level than usual. And, you know, I wake up with a good blood sugar. And everybody with type 1 knows when you wake up with a good blood sugar, your day is just better. You're not chasing a 300 all day long and that kind of stuff. But we should make it clear that, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, you, you still have to do, the, you got to calculate what you need for a meal. Yeah. So I'm focusing on overnight. During the day, it's still kind of the usual stuff you do. So let me talk a little bit about the system. And it's really made up of three different things. The first thing you have to get is something called a Riley link. Now the guy that designed Loop, um, he has a daughter named Riley who has type 1 diabetes, so they made the Riley link. And all this device does is it really helps your, your phone communicate with a Medtronic pump. So you need to buy a Riley link, and I'm going to get into the details of how to do these things. You need an old Medtronic pump, so I'm actually using a Medtronic pump, and you need an iPhone. And on the iPhone, you need to download an app called Loop. And the way that you get the Loop app is, um, there's Steve's old Medtronic pump, because Steve's not on Loop yet, but he's, he's getting there. Um, so the thing about the Loop app is you can't just go on the App Store and download it. It's not available because it's not FDA approved. So you have to do some kind of computer hacking, more or less, to get it onto your iPhone. And if you're interested in knowing how to do this, all you do is you Google the phrase Loop Docs, the word loop, and then the word D-O-C-S for documents, basically, I think. And there's a, a pretty good, and the first hit that comes up on Google is the website you want to go to, and it gives you all the information of the requirements you need, how to set it up, et cetera. Look at the bottom of your screen right yeah. now. And I will say, once you buy this, the Riley link is 130 bucks, unless they've changed their price at all, and they just kind of, you know, ship these out in the mail. Um, the hardest part is probably finding the old Medtronic pump. So hopefully you have one lying around, or maybe a friend has one. I hear these things are going for a pretty penny on eBay now because a lot of people want, you know, all of a sudden old Medtronic pumps. Um, and you do have to have an iPhone. So just Google it, look it up, and I was able to actually set it up on my own. It takes a couple hours, and I'm, I've really been enjoying looping. Uh, now, can you use it with the new Dexcom G6? Yes, so this is another thing. You can, so not with the Dexcom G6 yet, but you can use a Dexcom CGM or a Medtronic um, CGM, and pretty shortly they're supposed to be kind of ready to go with the G6. But right now you can use the G5 or the G4. Can you use the Enlight and the Guardian, the Medtronic sensors? I believe so. I the know. Guardian is their up, 
upgraded, uh, nicer, more accurate sensor. I, there are options for the Medtronic sensors. I'm not sure which ones, but yeah. Okay, now, yeah. That's, that's great. There's a really a lot of information. We're going to put some information on links uh, and, and, and other sources, but what's the first thing you're going to do the first day you get on a true artificial pancreas? You ever thought of that? First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to eat a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nation. Yeah. So long. Take care.